Every single player on that field very aware of what just went down in the big house. Here's the Heisman front runner, C.J. Stroud, getting it to Harrison Jr. He is so talented as the flag reigns in, and yet he secures that with Deontay Banks all over him. Pass interference, defense, number three. The penalties decline, the results of the play, first down. Just one of the best in the business, regardless of the level. And now Henderson, he goes ahead for two yards, and that's good news, Katie. Sometimes you have to protect a player from himself, and this comes as good news as Mayan Williams is unavailable today for the Buckeyes. He's been dealing with nagging foot injury, missed last week, as they go with Marvin Harrison again. Third and one. Henderson get the first down. Done a great job of distributing the football to one of the most talented wide receiver cores in America. Stroud on first down. Quick strike, but it bounces right off the chest of Julian Fleming. Back to Henderson. Look at all that green turf in front of him as he cuts inside the 10 and just walks it right in. Quick start. Buck up. To Leah Tonga Bailoa to get things started here as he throws back against the grain. And Dupree with the blocks in front. CJ Dupree goes high hurdling. And that's a good start for the Terrapins. And they need that after the past two weeks of offensive struggles. Hemby. Cut down by Eichenberg. Tess, some good news for the Terps today. Starting left guard Mason Lunsford is back in the lineup back after line missing the, the past two games due to a concussion. His return allows Jahari Branch to resume his role at center. Maryland now has its intended starting lineup in front of Talia. That is good news as Hemby is tackled by Steel Chambers. They had a true freshman play in center. Tonga Bible on third and seven. As he gets it complete, hooking up right. Tonga Bible as he quickly goes to Jarrett. Rock Jarrett, who's been dealing with an injury. Dynamic and quick off the ball as anybody in the game. First down run. Littleton goes ahead for three yards as he's taken down by Eichenberg. He's got to be very mindful of just how good that Ohio State offense is. Second and seven, they bring it around with the pitch to the outside to Jarrett, but it was well defensed that time. Third down and four. I wonder, two down territory here for Maryland potentially. Field goals aren't going to beat Ohio State. Tonga Bailoa just trying to keep it alive, and then he is taken down. Anderson tackled for a loss as he was taken down by Ami Fina. Stroud. Incomplete. Aggression has been a key word for Maryland this week in their prep. Third and 21. Stroud. Incomplete. Talia Tunga Bailoa. Pressure. And he's taken down just behind the line of scrimmage. As it was Josh Proctor. Tonga Bailoa on second and 11. Just hooks it up at midfield and gets it complete to Octavian Smith, the true freshman receiver. Smith, a young receiver with big upside. And this is Jones now as Jones is able to pull Jordan Hancock an extra yard. Jay Sean Jones with the reception. Talia five for five to start the game. Goes with the screen to Hemby. Hemby with space. Tiptoes the sideline. And a great play by Roman Hemby. He has been one of the breakout stars for Maryland. And, and I love the plan so far from Mike Loxley and Dan Enos. Misdirection. It's a very aggressive Ohio State defense. So you get Talia looking to his right. Then throw it right on back. To Hemby on the screen to the left. That's now two or three different misdirection plays that have been very successful for the Terps offense. Goes for 27 yards. First and goal with that ball crested right on the 10-yard line. Hemby 
Cuts to the outside and is taken down at the six yard line. Continue to try to run the football, soften up that front. So you have three downs to potentially punch it in. Tunga Vailoa, sprint right, goes underneath to the five yard line to Jones. It'll be third and goal on the tight end right here. You can get to pre working in the red zone. That's where you want to work your big body tight end. Third and goal. Keep it on the ground with Littleton. He goes nowhere. That ball was bobbled by Henderson on the exchange with Stroud. And that'll go for a loss. Back at the 10 yard line, a loss of five. Yeah, a little indecision here. It looks like CJ Stroud's trying to pull it there at the end, but you can see Henderson hung on to it. And as a result, the ball hits the deck. Just a little thrown off between the quarterback and the running back. Second and 15. Stroud batted! Oh, is that dangerous as Deontay Banks? Oh, they're blown at dead with movement, but Banks was right in Stroud's face. Have CJ Stroud just a little bit uncomfortable. They've brought corner blitz. They've done some games up front. It's been a good plan so far defensively from the Turks. That's five penalties on Ohio State. Henderson tried to spin free, just makes his way back to the 10 yard line. He's their best pass rusher off the end of the line of scrimmage. He has four sacks, leads the team. Third and 15 for Stroud. Stroud trying to extend the play and just looking for anything and then tucks and tries to run but is only able to get for a first and 20 back at the 39 and that's where they will give it to Hemby and Hemby is tackled by Jack Sawyer. Said he drives that ball to Felton. Third down and eight. Watch the pressure for Ohio State. Goes to Hemby out of the backfield on third and eight. Great pursuit down the line, though. Up seven to six. Ohio State on top of Maryland. Henderson trying to find anything. Instead, he is wrapped up. Second and ten. Stroud downfield. Look at this effort by Marvin Harrison Jr. You know, coaches this week described him as an artist, as a wide receiver. Just let this man paint. Did. Either way, it sets up third and ten. I don't think most receivers even get their hands on it. Third and ten, shallow cross, Fleming, first down, Buckeyes. And then he cuts and gets beyond the 30, all the way out, rolling to the 35-yard line, Julian Fleming. Henderson on first down, made the first man miss in the backfield. And then powers ahead to the 39 yard line. Stroud on second and six. And coming back to the ball, Abuka for a first down. Nice grab. Mecca Abuka for 13 yards. Play action. Stroud with time can wind it up, but doesn't have an option. Has to check down, and it's incomplete on second and 10. And with that, they run Henderson as he was met. Right at the 44 yard line. As Dallin Hayden, the true freshman, is split to the right on third and six. Stroud gets it complete. As Emeka Abuka again is his preferred target, and he's rushed down Buckeyes. Trevion Henderson back at running back after missing action last week. Here's Stroud being chased down, but then launches downfield. And that ball is intercepted. Bobbling and in the hands of Banks. And Deontay Banks still on his feet and brought down at the 48 yard line. Out of bounds when he kind of tapped it back up. And either way, not a great decision there. Oh my God. Did that hit the ground right there? It's Did very, that hit very the close. ground. Let's take a look right here. Does the ball hit the ground? Yes. Oh, yes. Rolling on the field. Wasn't it playing fun? That's what they want to do. Gets it up quickly. Lockers in front for Harrison Jr. as he wiggles his way inside the 30 yard line. Flag is down as he's a yard short of that. Line. So a first down, Ohio State inside the 15 after the silly penalty. Henderson looking for anything, could not spin free from Tarheeb still. They were down the one scholarship running back last week. That was Hayden. Second and 11. Stroud. 
and he has to throw it away. Very good coverage. And even then you may have a problem. Stroud. Incomplete as he was looking for Marvin Harrison Jr. Littleton cannot escape Steel Chambers. Maryland has been up to the task and outside of the first drive Ohio State really has not been super consistent offensively. And Tonga Bailoa is nine of nine. This is Copeland. And Copeland can find anything just a yard that time as Tanner McAllister was the one who cleaned it up. Talia gets it out quickly and gets it complete for a first down. You can see right here Denzel Burke. He's retreating and just allows such an easy completion underneath. I mean, uh, you got to be more aggressive in the secondary. You can't just give away freebies. And keep it on the ground with Jarrett. Rock Jarrett finds a seam. A flag is down, though. Back. First and 18. Talia again gets it out quickly, but this time it's incomplete. Second and 18. They pick up the pressure. Tonga by Lowe downfield and gets it complete to Demas. Big play, Terps. Man, what a great play here by Demas. Just a little go ball, man. One on one, underthrown deep ball as he's working against Jordan Hancock. 50 50 ball, and the guy that's six foot four and change is going to win that almost every single time. Excellent job by the big body wide receiver. And now they quickly get it to Rock Jarrett. And Jarrett will have it. Rock went for nine yards, second and one. And Littleton will push the pile. And this will be a first down Maryland to 25. Here's Talia off of it. Has time to think about it. And that was battered away by Lathan Ransom. And a flag comes in right at the point with as Littleton gets inside the 10 yard line second and six they run option Talia keeps it himself it'll be third and five I'm absolutely giving the green lights the coordinator saying hey four down territory get you a fourth and manageable third down and five Tonga Bailoa looking for an option now he's going to sprint it himself and it will be first and goal Maryland. They have not scored a touchdown since the fourth quarter November 5th at Wisconsin. I formation for Maryland looking to take the lead against number two. Play action. Tonga by Lowe to the end zone. Batted away. Incomplete. He was looking for Dupree. Second and goal. Trying to reach for it is Littleton. Still Chambers. They got a jumbo backfield. They bring an offensive lineman in, put 89 on the shirt, and say, we're going big time. Talia on third and goal to the end zone. Touchdown, Terps Dupree. And Maryland takes the lead over Ohio State. A little 320 loop pass left. But he evades and gets it off. And when you're rolling to your left, it's really difficult to put touch on the. This is a potentially a big drive, though, for Ohio State. Remember, Maryland gets the ball to start the second half. So big now for C.J. Stroud to steal some points. Henderson again trying to bounce this and get around the edge. But he's unable to do so as he was taken down by Glendon Miller. The coach is very high on him. Third and seven. Stroud. Shallow cross complete, Emeka Abuka. And that is a first down for the Buckeyes. Here's Hayden, true freshman, goes ahead for three yards. Second and seven. Stroud. As he's able to connect at the 45 yard line. And it's incomplete. He was looking for a Buka. Here's Talia. 45 seconds before halftime, and he is sacked. And it is JT Tuimolau, one of the most promising big time NFL prospects in all of college football.
highly energized first half for Maryland. As Talia will just put it downfield, able to get it complete. The point of attack has won more often than they've lost, and I think that's got to be a little concerning. That challenge needs to be issued to the offensive line for the Buckeyes. Here's Hemby. As Hemby takes it ahead for six yards, tackled by Denzel Burke. Touchdown went to Dupree. Second and four. It's incomplete. That was just his third incompletion for Talia Tonga by Loa. Third and four. And that's a first down to Demas. Nice throw and catch for the conversion. Hempy on first down as he was just tripped up at the 47 yard line by Lathan Ransom. Second and four. Tonga by Loa. It's going to go to the other side. Well played that time. That was Ransom coming straight in on C.J. Dupree. <laughs> Tried to go a little tight end screen, and you've seen for the most part Ohio State in the first half playing zone coverage. But when they're in man coverage like they were right there, tight end screen is not going to happen. Ransom did a great job. They're showing a gap pressure. As Ohio State bring it or back off. Here they come straight after him. Backing him up, and he just desperately had to throw it away as Steel Chambers was all over Talia Tungavailoa. Spangler on the punt. He's having an excellent season, averaging nearly 46 yards per punt. It is blocked! It is blocked by the Buckeyes! And scooped up! Ransom came straight in, and Burke was on it. Wait! And now Hayden. Inside the 10 yard line and that is exactly how you want to start a second half to try to retake this lead And Dallin Hayden This is Copeland this Copeland goes ahead for eight yards Penalty that's exactly what he said. Just calm down. Second and 18. Tonga by Loa wants to take a shot. And that is batted away. Third and 18. Another big moment for Ohio State to make a swing. As Talia just grounds it. About today against this Ohio State offense. His first year as the DC he was just promoted this past spring. Stroud on first down, and that is Harrison Jr., but he is wrapped up and thrown back right away. Harrison on the sideline, ball thrown just a little bit inside. Did he ever step out? It was difficult to tell. Boy, that was close as Hayden takes it ahead for a first down. Looked like that right foot was very close. Stroud on first down. Going to wind it up, take a shot downfield, but that is overthrown looking for Marvin Harrison Jr. Marvin has to run all the way back now. Second and ten. Stroud is going to go to Hayden, and he is met. Third and ten. Stroud. Right into the hands of Abuka. First down, Buckeyes. Hayden wrapped up at the line of scrimmage by Finau. They go with Abuka now on the handoff, and he's only able to get a yard that time. Proud roaring, looking for a stop here against Stroud. He is backed up, and he has to get rid of it as he's being tackled. And you're going to see the offensive line really go all the way to the left, and you're going to have Barham right around Potential ground the right the guard. Offense. Matthew seven, Jones. The ball did not get back to the line. And they're going to call scrimmage. intentional grounding rightfully on C.J. Stroud. I don't Four know down. if he ever got outside the tackle box. Littleton had nowhere to go. Immediately met by Zach Harrison. Second and 11, play action. Tonga by Loa. Gets out of the pocket, tucks, runs, will have the first down and more. As Talia Tonga by Loa out to midfield, chased down by Ransom. Quickly with the receiver screen, Demas, as he goes ahead for about three and a half, four yards. Brown cut him down. Second and six. 
A little late with that as he was trying to get it to Rock Jarrett. I think you absolutely give Van Enos the green light. Two downs to get it here. And keep an eye on Rock Jarrett, number one. He's their go-to guy in situations like this. They motion him orbit around the back. Talia trying to run, but he's taken down by Eichenberg. Tommy Eichenberg. Today, it has been well contested. A tight one. Second and five. Aiden again. This time, he is pulled down just beyond the 20-yard line. Be third and short. True freshman Dallin Hayden remains in as the running back. Remember, Mayan Williams out injured today. Henderson's been dealing with a nagging injury, but look at Hayden. Nearly kept his balance. It's a first down Ohio State. He is going to be something. Henderson, 11 carries for only 19 yards. Freshman continues to get work and goes ahead for nine yards. The challenge that was issued by Ryan Day to the run game and the offensive line is certainly coming to fruition here in the first 15 minutes of the second half. Going to stay with it. This time Hayden is thrown back, stacked up and thrown back by Henry Trebuzzi. Big Mitch Rossi, number 34, is going to come in offset eye with Hayden still the running back on third and one. And he will have the first down at midfield. You think that front's going to bite on it. They give it to him. And he only gets a yard. Second and nine. Stroud. Shallow cross. Harrison Jr. Flag is down as Marvin Harrison Jr. for the time. Family's got a lot of hardware. Dad's got the gold jacket. Aiden goes ahead for two yards. Stroud, second and eight to the outside. That is incomplete. He was looking for Fleming. I don't necessarily agree with that call. Stroud on first down. Inside the 10 is Stover. Hayden behind Rossi and right in. I was with Justin Fry, the Ohio State offensive lineman. He said, that's good for us. That'll tell our kids a little something. Maybe they got the message. At halftime, after Maryland came out and gave it in the third quarter. Tungabai Loa, second and eight. Gets it complete, and it's Felton. And he's down for an explosive play for Maryland. Quick strike. And a first down for Maryland again. This time it's Jacob Copeland, the transfer from Florida. It's only 42 yards of offense there in the third quarter. So it's good to see him pick up the pace a little bit. And now with tempo and the rhythm, here's Tucker by Loa. And the flag reigns in. You could see that pull on the jersey by Cameron Martin. Well thrown. Gets it to Hemby out of the backfield. Hemby. With that leg drive, gets to the five-yard line. Talia, going to keep it, and he's going to get in. Stroud on first down. Has plenty of time. Nobody in front of him as he tucks and then gets it across midfield. Hayden, he's had a great second half, and that will move the chains again. Flag was thrown really late around the pile. And here they are already inside the 30. Stroud. As he's able to connect with Emeka Abuka. Let's take a look. Did he hang on? Some of the Maryland defenders thought he dropped it, but bobbled initially. Ooh, it was pretty close. Hayden. Inside the 10, kept his foot again, gets in! Dallin Hayden! More room now to potentially work a few more, a few more throws that can kind of move the ball a little bit further down the field. I, I'm not really sure why they're kicking it here. And it is blocked! And here's the return!
It was going to be two one way, but instead. Second and ten, Tonga by Lowe downfield. And it's a big catch by Jarrett. Rock Jarrett has the Terps in position again. Hemby. Hemby inside the five. This game has delivered everything. Hemby trying to drive for that goal line. He's going to be just short down at the one yard line. We're going to bring in number 95, Fontaine, as an extra tight end. Third and goal. Stacked up, driven back. Here's your fourth and goal. Tonga Bailoa being chased down, looking for anything to the end zone. And that is in the hands of Jones. He found him. Talia Tonga Bailoa, a little bit of magic here at the shell. Wow. Just forever. Hayden, well blocked. He's had such a big second half. Second and four play action. Stroud's going to go to about the backfield. Here's Hayden now. Another first down for Ohio State. Stroud took a big hit. Man, oh man, has it been a fun one between what we saw with TCU and Michigan and now this here at Maryland as he goes with the shallow cross to Mecca Abuka. During the pass, holding defense number three, 10 yard penalty from the previous spot, automatic first down. Stroud. He's incomplete as he was looking for his favorite target, Marvin Harrison Jr. Aiden, not much there at all. You got a lurking linebacker there at the second level. Let's see if they bring him. Third and seven. Stroud extends the play, but is there any option downfield? Across the grain and into the hands of Stover. Had to come back for the ball. And he is a yard short, so it's fourth and one, and Stroud is limping for seven minutes to play. Fourth and one, and he's going to pass. C.J. Stroud on fourth and one. Coming back for the ball is Harrison, and it's incomplete. Let's take a look now. Does he get hands underneath it? Oh, as you can see, I mean, his hands were in a pretty good spot, but it looks like the ball kind of goes through almost demoralizing if you're Ohio State and you can't pick up a fourth and one if you don't trust your team enough to run the ball in short yardage. Hamby straight ahead and then taken down by Eichenberg. Second and seven. Incomplete. It'll be third down. Von Bell, I'm looking at like an out route right here. Rock and Jarrett working against that inside leverage. Look at all those Buckeyes crammed up towards the line. Jim Knowles calling that defense. Third and seven. Tonga by Loa. Can he convert? Steps up in the pocket, being chased, extending. Here comes the pressure. Throws it away. To be fairly true. Hayden. Another big play from Dallin Hayden. Right leg is difficult to push off of if you're a right handed thrower. If your right leg isn't at 100%, it's hard to drive the football. Aiden goes for five more yards. Aiden may have to play a starring role next week against Michigan. He's trying to fight for a little more yardage. Look at that. You saw the left to lean on that front. Aiden. Look at him go again. He got a nice block on the right side.
Second and seven off the timeout by Maryland. Hayden. They stack it up. They run fit it well. And they do. Stroud. As he goes to Abuka. And Ohio State opened up this fourth quarter with a two touchdown lead. Caden takes it ahead for a couple yards. Remember, no timeouts remaining for Maryland. Don't fight for the extra yards. It's just not worth it. Because really, the only way Maryland can essentially win this game is if Ohio State puts it on the deck. Third and six, Hayden. And take it ahead for three yards, tackled by Bo Braid. Keep in mind, no timeouts. And he is brought down by Zach Harrison. And now you got to hurry. Huh? Part of the problem is you have Demas, who is 40, 50 yards downfield, running all the way back now, wasting precious seconds. Fourth sack by Ohio State. From his own end zone. Again, balls in the air, and it's a score. Still Chambers.